So the next step and one of the most important is coming up with a plant list for your garden. And again, really understanding what plants you wanna see in that garden, how they are used. As you create that list, it's a really good chance to really immerse yourself or connect with the different ways my people have used these plants for thousands of years. And by doing that, it reinforces or it brings that wonderful culture and knowledge right into your classroom. When we look at plants, we don't just see a plant, we see so much more and you know, this is what we want to create in the garden. We want to create a plant that will produce beautiful traditional food for you. A plant that will, when picked and harvested, you'll be able to make all sorts of resources like rope and string, baskets and nets. Or you may even want some plants in your garden that you can pick and use as a medicine. So guys, this is one of the plants that we're actually going to plant in the garden today. So these, in this section of the garden, are actually bigger ones that have been growing here for a while now. So I just wanted to show you guys this one. Um, so when you do go plant your plant in the garden, you know what they're actually going to get to and what they're going to look like. I know you guys have seen some plants with me. Now is a good time to maybe have a bit of a reflect and a bit of a think on maybe some of those plants that really, um, you know, uh, you connected with and that you might want to see in this garden. So we're going to plant this wattle and this is going to get a little bit bigger, okay? So we need to find a good place for that um, that's nice and open. And then this one is the chocolate lilies. Still gets a bit of sun but also likes a little bit of shade. So we'll have to have a look in our garden where it gets a little bit more shaded and protected. This is another consideration we need to do when we're putting um, our garden list and plant list together. It's really important as well to look at the plants that are growing already locally in your area. Have a greater understanding of the plants to your region. This is going to be helpful when you create your garden because your garden is going to thrive. As these plants have been living in those areas for thousands of years and have adapted to the climates of those regions. It also deeply connects you to the First Nations Aboriginal people of that area, as those plants hold those stories, that knowledge and that culture within them. 